Well, thank you for joining us. And um, we're going to discuss uh, today, uh, with respect to restless legs, why are dopamine agonists effective for the symptoms of restless legs? And from where in the central nervous system does this efficacy arise? Where can we attribute these beneficial effects to with respect to the central nervous system and brain? So there's been a long history uh, or uh, suggestion that dopamine pathology in restless legs is key. And that uh, comes from really the observations and seeing patients and treating them with dopamine agonists and other dopamine agents that we can uh, alleviate not only the sensory symptoms of the disorder, but also the motor signs of restless legs. When I speak of the motor signs, I speak about periodic leg, leg movements in sleep. And because of this strong uh, efficacy data, it's long been postulated that there's a primary dopamine pathology that underlies the disorder. And that's what we're going to talk about today, what the evidence is on both sides uh, and where, again, in the nervous system these benefits may arise from. Now, when one looks at this proposal that there's a pr primary dopamine pathology in restless legs, uh, we have to pause a little bit and just look at the big picture. And one of the issues is that not every patient uh, responds to dopamine treatment. Certainly, uh, most do. The vast, vast